Hello, this is Emily the Audi Nerd, and tonight we're going to be taking a look at the 2023 Audi S5 Cabriolet. The A5 family has three primary models. There is the convertible Cabriolet, the Coupe, and the Sportback. Tonight, we're going to be taking a look at the cab. The Audi S5 shares the same power plant as the SQ5 and the S4. It is powered by Audi's 3-liter V6 turbocharged engine. It has 349 horsepower with 369 foot-pound of torque and goes from 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds. It has a top speed of 155 miles an hour. The highway MPG is 28. In the city, it's 21 with a combined MPG of 23. This Audi V6 utilizes one turbocharger mounted in the middle of the engine in between the V. If you come a little bit closer, you can actually see the turbo right here. This is your cold side. This is your hot side all underneath. You see all the heat shielding all around it. And you see this massive heat shield on the top. And it's not just there. It is up here on the hood as well to protect your paint. This setup is also called the Hot V. The benefits of this is that the turbo spools extremely quickly and it's extremely efficient. S5 Cabriolet is actually has unique stylizing because there is no offering for the black optics on any ear on any of the convertibles. So that means A5 convertible and S5 convertible have no option for black optics. Now because this is the S5 convertible, it will have the S-Line exterior package including the S honeycomb grill. So if we come in a little bit closer, you can take a closer look at what it would look like. You can see you have the two-tone colors. I like it with the silver on top of the honeycomb and I love how it matches the silver rings and badges. I love how it all seamlessly connects and the silver surround on the on the grill there. Coming up just a little bit, you'll notice the Heritage 3 vents on the top which are supposed to vent into the engine bay. And coming out again, we can take a look at it as a whole. Coming down, you have the silver right down here. Again, another really aggressive piece. Bringing all the way along, we have some more honeycomb pieces here. And the silver, I like this, it really ties in with it really well on the front. It brings it all the way along, making it really, really aggressive. Now, we'll talk about kind of some of the safety features on the things that are up front. So these are right here, used for your adaptive cruise control. These are your four sensors on the front. One, two, three, and four. Coming over a little bit underneath, you'll actually see, as we saw earlier, this is your forward-facing camera. This one is a premium plus so it does have the full 360 camera view now because as i mentioned this one is a premium plus it doesn't have the matrix animation for the headlights however it still does have the eyelash design so if i back up here it's really nice long aggressive headlight with the eyelash all the way along there Continuing with the aggressive stylizing from the front and the headlights, the A5 is really just the more aggressive A4. So there's two sedans in the B segment. We have the A5 and the A4. So if you look on the hood, you can see these really aggressive lines that come all the way along across it. And it actually goes along the entire side as well. So when we move over there, we'll take a look at those too. As I mentioned, the S5 convertible does not have the option for black optics, so you are li more limited on your wheel choices. There are two different wheel choices. This is your standard wheel. This is a 19 inch. There is an option for a 20 inch, a little bit larger. It does have more of a gray face to it. Personally, I like the two-tone with this because of all the silver accents on the S5. The S5 convertible has a six piston front caliper with a 13.8 inch rotor. In the rear, it's less than an inch different at 13.0. There truly is some great stopping power, so no matter where you take this on any adventure, you're going to be having a lot of fun. Carrying on with the aloe optic trims on the S5 convertible, if you come a little bit closer, you can see the honeycomb here, which carries over from the front grille, and all the aloe optics coming up. You have the characteristic of the S cars. You have your matte silver aloe optic mirror covers, and the windshield border trim all the way along is that really cool silver color. And all the way along back here, you'll notice all the silver carrying in and as you get to peek around the side you can see those really aggressive lines i was talking about especially as we back up and take a look last but not least you get audi's rear sport differential and what that is is a electronically controlled limited slip diff along the rear axle it pushes you through the corners eliminating understeer making this a much more fun car to drive especially if you're taking it through some windy corners with a top down it's not all fun and games. There are safety features special for a convertible as well. There are roll bars that are concealed underneath here that will pop up in the event of a rollover accident. Now moving on to the back, of course it's an S5 and it'll share the S characteristic of the quad exhaust tips. They're all the way silver all the way along and something I really like about this car specifically 
is how the rear diffuser is very aggressive. There's little bits of honeycomb here and the aloe optics all along the top of the rear diffuser. Coming up a little bit, you'll see your silver rings and badges, which tie in very nicely together with the rest of the car. And of course, you have your eyelash design rear taillights, which again, tie in very nice to the front of the car. Moving up just a little bit, I want to highlight the really clean and stylizing of the rear spoiler. So something that's kind of unique to it is unlike the S4s, it doesn't have a little extra lip on the top. Now coming over to something that is again kind of trivial but it is this third brake bar which is right here on all of the a5s it is much larger than the other vehicles if it's the a5 coupe or the a5 sportback it'll be the long and at the top but because this is the convertible and when this rear window is down this way it's always still there now for the moment we've all been waiting for let's drop the top there are two ways of dropping down the convertible top one you can do from the key fob or you can do it from the interior of the car first i'll show you how to do it from the key fob when the vehicle is locked sitting here ready with the top up just like this you would simply press once on the unlock and then on the second time press and hold continue holding the entire time as the vehicle is opening the top for you once it is completely done then you can take your finger off of the unlock button now the top is down, if you're ready to put it back up and you don't want to get back in the vehicle, reverse the operation and you're using the lock button this time. So press once and then hold. And just like that, the top will go back up. Continue holding for the entire operation and the windows will go back as well. When you're in the car, the way you can move the top, the top up and down is using these buttons here. This is to put the top down and this is to put the top up. The windows will go up with the corresponding button. However, if you would like to operate them manually, they are on the door switch over here on the driver panel. Now, if you're a golfer and want to take your S5 Cabriolet to the golf club, I will show you exactly how you can accommodate golf clubs. So this right here is your convertible top storage. You need to get this out of the way to be able to accommodate the golf clubs. So once the convertible top is up, pull and hold on this guy and it'll store it out of the way and then pull this lever right here and the seats will go right down. As you'd expect, Audi's convertible top is a cut above the rest. It is a three layer insulated top and which helps it keep, it's much quieter on the inside and it helps from different temperature changes versus the exterior temperature and the interior temperature in the cabin. It's great for summer and winter. There's another unique thing for this convertible top is the back glass is actually glass and it's even heated. Audi's convertible top can be actuated up to 31 miles an hour, and it goes up or down in just over 15 seconds. So you may be thinking that once the convertible top is down, you aren't able to take phone calls, but that is not the case in the S5 Cabriolet. Notice there's three different microphone spots along the seatbelt, and once it's sitting correctly on me, it's actually about in the same line as the microphone I'm using for this video. That way your callers can hear you perfectly over Bluetooth with the top up or the top down. The S5 Cab comes standard with the S Sport seats. You'll see them here with the fine Nappa and the quilting. The cool thing about the S5 cab is there is an option for something called the warm weather package, which will give you neck level heating and ventilated seats. The only th catch is it does delete the S Sport seats and goes back to the A5 cab relay seats. There's only one color option choice for that as well. You can either have black on the warm weather package or you can stay with these S Sport seats and you have an option of black, gray, or red. If you option with the warm weather package, it also deletes the massage function. So it's kind of a toss up between neck level heating and ventilation or the S Sport seats and massage. As you'd expect from a convertible, there's not a ton of room in the back seats. However, they do exist. As you can see now with the sun on the seats, I'm sure you're thinking, oh great, Ben's going to have to get in the seat after this and he's going to burn his butt. Actually, that's not the case. The seats are coated with a special coating over the leather to keep them from getting hot to the touch when they're sitting in the sun. This is a very special feature on all Audi convertibles. Now in the interior of the S5, there's a couple really cool things I want to point out. You do have this really cool silver trim all the way along, which ties in nicely with the alloy optics of the rest of the car. You will notice the carbon fiber inlays here. There's only one option for the inlays on the S5 cap, and it is these carbon fiber inlays. 
I'm going to do a brief demonstration of the Audi Virtual Cockpit, which is available on Premium Plus and Prestige and of the MMI screen. Please know that there is several more features on this vehicle that are shared in the A4 and the regular A5. Check out those videos for other questions or leave them in the comments. First, we'll talk about the steering wheel. This is your S steering wheel with the air leather around. There is no option for a flat bottom. There's only the option for the round steering wheel. When you have the convenience package or anything above that, so a premium plus or a prestige, you will have the heated steering wheel, which is located here. This is your phone button, your speak button. This is your skip tracks, your volume control, the view button, which is used for the virtual cockpit, where you can make your dials large or small. We currently have it on the boomerang design, which is an a characteristic of the S cars. We can use these toggles up here to switch between what is up in the center screen. There is something to note that this vehicle does not have standalone navigation with it. However, you can purchase it on a subscription basis. Using this dial down here, we'll be able to toggle through what else is on this side and if there's any other information. The nice part about this is here you'll see your mile per hour and what mode you're in. Down there we are currently in dynamic mode. You can change that using the drive select button over beneath the climate control. This is a brief demonstration of the Audi MMI screen. So you're going to see things like your radio meter, your phone navigation, and as I mentioned, because this one does not have it, it says this was not purchased. However, this is something that can be purchased on a function on demand basis. Phone apps is where you'll have your Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto. So once a phone is connected, you can click that phone. And once a con connection has already been established, if it's set as the primary phone, that is the phone that will connect automatically. Most customers do not purchase the navigation license because they're able to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So once you have that connected, as you can see here, you can use any of the maps that you have on it. So you can click this button, you can scroll over, we have Google Maps, and over beyond that, if you had any other apps like Waze or Apple Maps, you could use any of those. Otherwise, any of the features that are able to be used on the Apple CarPlay will be listed in your app screen. Scrolling over, this is where you can see different things like your map, anything you're playing over music, or anything up along this top box. Moving down, this is my favorite climate control panel. It's extremely easy to use. It comes, the S5 cab will come standard with the heated seats for both driver and passenger. This is your interior temperature sensor. Something to please note is the cab relay is very unique because it has two different climate control settings. This is the setting with the top is up, and then once the top is down, you can adjust the different settings, and whenever you put the top down next, it will go back to those settings. So once you put the top back up, it'll change the settings. So like, for instance, let's say I want to have it 72 degrees in here when I'm driving along, but when I have the top down, I want to have it on low with the fan speed high. It will save that setting, depending on if you have the top up or top down. Thanks for watching this video on the 2023 Audi S5 Cabriolet. I had a lot of fun taking it out on a weekend adventure this time. If you have any other questions about this vehicle or other vehicles, please leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching.